reports have come out over the last week that 22-year-old Timberwolves forward Jaden McDaniels has had a late-stage growth spurt, taking him from 6'9 to 6'11. Although extremely rare, studies have found that men can continue growing until 24, and McDaniels is one of the strongest beneficiaries of that fact. This takes a player that by many metrics was the best perimeter defender in the league last season and makes it so that he can easily guard 1-5. through five. This can legitimately make McDaniels the best and most versatile defender in the entire NBA. To put it in perspective, I'm going to give you some other notable 6'11 guys in the league right now. Nikola Jokic, Miles Turner, DeAndre Ayton, Evan Mobley, Steven Adams, and Alperin Shangoon. At his new height, McDaniels wouldn't even be undersized at center, and he can play the shooting guard spot. He already had been a sleeper pick by many to evolve into a future star with Minnesota, and I'd say many more people will be getting on that bandwagon now. Because not only does this drastically raise his ceiling, it also raises his floor. Because even if his offense never reaches the elite level some hope for, he'd be the best perimeter defender at his height with relative ease. It will make him reaching the offensive upside much more likely because he can shoot over defenders. Make no mistake, Anthony Edwards is still the most important player for Minnesota moving forward, but McDaniels just shot up to number two. Let's not forget this is a player called the next Kevin Durant coming out of high school, and now he's got the build to match. The Jaden McDaniels growth spurt changes everything. Now let's take a deeper look at why. Before we get into the Timberwolves' exciting, now nearly 7 foot wing, if you enjoy my content and watch a few videos of mine, think about subscribing. 96% of my viewers are actually not subscribed, so if you watch me before and enjoy the content, drop a sub and comment down below, it really helps the channel. While the big news this week for Minnesota was that Anthony Edwards stepped foot on a basketball court to play a game for the first time since the playoff series against the Nuggets. We got another, more unexpected piece of news from the Athletics' John Krasinski. Jade McDaniels is reportedly being measured at 6'11 in his summer workouts, two inches taller than he was listed at last season. Yes, you heard that right, one of the best and most versatile defenders in the league is now closing in on 7 feet tall, and he may not be done growing. If you're a Timberwolves fan, you get excited about the prospect of his game taking a step forward as he will add to his already absurd length and get closer and closer to guarding some of the best centers in the league. We see these reports about young players growing every single year. The thing is, rarely do they come from a source as reliable as JK. While we will have to see what happens when the official NBA measurements happen closer to the start of the season, we can still start to think about these ramifications as the Timberwolves' big identity continues to round into form. The first idea that comes to mind when we think about Jaden getting taller is the size that the Wolves will have on the front lines for the upcoming season. Rudy Gobert is 7'1 with a 7'9 wingspan, Carl Towns is 7 feet with a 7'3 wingspan, and Jaden McDaniels is now 6'11 with a 6'11.5 wingspan, not to mention that his wingspan could have grown along with his height, but that is not confirmed one way or the other. To put that into perspective, if you were to have Towns, Gobert, and McDaniels join hands, they would be easily taller than a giraffe. This length will create a lot of blocks and be a luxury to have on the back lines, protecting the rim and clogging the passing lanes. If you talk to me about defense, you will know that I firmly believe that the most important part of being a good defensive player is versatility. Having the option to guard multiple positions, and more importantly, multiple player archetypes is the key to having good individual and team defense. With these two extra inches, the University of Washington product is fast approaching the ability to guard the center position more effectively. Jaden has always been able to guard the 1-4 through four very well, and any extra versatility that he can add to his game is icing on top of an already well-frosted cake. If he is able to put on more weight with these extra couple of inches, we very well could see him guard bigger guys on a more consistent basis. While that may not be the case because of his foul issues, having the option is still extremely intriguing. When you zoom out, it seems very funny to be talking about a player growing as a noteworthy event, but in a sport where height and wingspan is so important, every inch matters. The ability to do more in this regard can only add to the limitless potential of the fourth year player. 
I'm already chomping at the bit to see Chris Finch deploy a lineup of Kyle Anderson, Jade McDaniels, Nas Reed, Towns, and Rudy Gobert. Yes, I know this is a pipe dream, but wow, that is a whole lot of length. To quote Al Pacino in his infamous quote from the film Any Given Sunday, it's a game of inches, and the Timberwolves just gained two more of them. Thanks for watching. I'm Herm. Have a good one.